Good afternoon, this is Brett and today I'm trying to find a better way to showcase videos in a video slider using the Divi theme. So I've got a, a blog post and it's got a number of videos in it and one of them has a video slider. What this is is it's a set of ver videos that are set up. In this case I've got three of them and when someone clicks on these videos it plays in the larger player area and so you can go from one video to the next to the next. My challenge is that these thumbnails, they aren't very descriptive. They don't show what they are. Uh, they don't pull in the YouTube title like the top video does. So if somebody clicks on one of these, they have no idea what they're clicking on. And I didn't create these videos. I found them on YouTube. I'm just sharing some resources here in this case. Um, some of the other videos further upstream, I've done the videos and so I've got control over what shows up on that uh, thumbnail as it's loaded into YouTube, but these I don't. However, uh, Divi doesn't provide us a way to type in some text and, and put a title on it automatically, so I'm trying something different. It's a little uh, old school, maybe a little bit more manual, whatever you want to call it. I am going into the editor, and I'll give you an example. I've already done a couple of these, and I'm going to go into this third video. Now when I set these up initially, I clicked generate uh, thumbnail image, the image overlay, from the video, and that pulled this in. Now in this case, I'm going to uh, double tap on my Mac or right click on uh, a PC. I'm gonna save that image down to my downloads, and then I'm gonna come in to snag it. And I've already done a couple of these. Uh, I'm gonna open up that file that I just saved into my uh, downloads. So I'm gonna open up that uh, YouTube thumbnail. And I'm gonna walk over into one that I've already done. I've got a text box, essentially. And I'm gonna copy that from my other uh, item. I'm gonna paste it into uh, this particular video. And then I'm gonna rewrite the text for this text box. In this particular video, uh, I'm trying to remember what it is. This is one of the problems with this. You don't always know what you're, you're getting here. I think this is a link tracking uh, demo. So, go link tracking tutorial. Actually, we'll return it down a line because I want to use up as much real estate as possible. When this shrinks down, I want to make sure that people can see it uh, as, as much as, as possible. So I'm going to trim the edges off of that because as I open that or download it, it brings in a little bit of extra. I'm going to save it off as uh, a reduced size file. Give it a descriptive name. Saving that, and then I'll pop back over to WordPress. And I haven't closed this uh, window out yet. I'm gonna upload a new image to replace my overlay. Select files. Grab the latest one, my latest save. This saves it up into the media library. Um, so these captions and alt text don't necessarily matter for this particular page, but if somebody ever does stumble upon it in my media library, I want them to have the right descriptions. So I'll grab that, and then I'll set the, uh, that as an image. Save, uh, that was the slide of the video slider, and I'm gonna save my work on the uh, slider series. And this is still in draft mode, it's an article that I'm still working on, so I'm gonna save the draft, and come in here, and hit refresh, here it comes. And now I have at least some text in there, I'm not totally sure why this one down here is dark. This has got something to do with the slider, so I've got some more work to do to figure this out. I'm making this video partly to show where I'm at, and if you know a better way, I'd love, uh, I'd love to find a better way for this too, or any way to uh, make sure that people can see uh, these items and know what they're potentially clicking on, because I want people to find what they're looking for. I don't want them to futz about and have to click on something they don't want to see.